The fun and games in 20th Century Roadshow tonight at 8. Right now on BBC One, play along and prove what a brain box you are. In the spotlight tonight is Matty, and his specialist subject is the history of the English longbow. Andrew, whose subject is the Star Wars trilogy. Next, we have Hannah, whose specialist subject is His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. And William, whose subject is Black Holes. <laughs> My name is John Humphreys and welcome to Junior Mastermind. Four brave young people hoping to become the Junior Mastermind Champion 2005. The winner tonight will go through to the final and the rules are exactly the same as they are for the adults. Two minutes on their specialist subjects and two minutes on general knowledge. The clock is merciless. So let's have our first contender please. And your name is? Matty. And you come from? Stafford. And your chosen subject? The history of the English longbow. The English longbow in two minutes, starting now. Which King of England was the first to recognise the importance of the longbow and to introduce it as a military weapon into England? Edward I. Correct. At which battle of 1333 did the English longbowmen win the town of Berwick for Edward III? Battle of Creasy. Battle of Halidon Hill. 137 whole longbows were discovered on the wreck of which Tudor ship which had sunk in the Solent in the 16th century? Mary Rose. Correct. At which 14th century battle did the Earl of Oxford order the archers to move into the marsh so that the arrows would hit the enemy on their unprotected sides? Oh, poor chairs. Correct. On a longbow, what specific one-word name is given to the notches cut into the wood to take the string? Pass. At which major battle of 1346 fought in France were Philip VI's crossbows overwhelmed by Edward III's longbows, although they were heavily outnumbered? Greasy. Yes. What is the name of the great archery writer whose book called Toxophilus was written in the Tudor period? Pass. In 1277, which English town provided 100 men led by Henry Davenport to serve King Edward in the Welsh Wars? Calais. Macclesfield. What surname was given to those who made arrows in the Middle Ages? Oh, yeah. Fletcher. What part of the arrows found on the Mary Rose was made of swan or goose feathers? The... the, the ends of the arrows. You need to be more specific. Pass them. The day before the Battle of Cressy, which river did the English forces cross when the longbowmen held off the enemy's crossbow fire? Pass. Which King of Scotland was defeated by the English army, including its archers, at the Battle of Neville's Cross? King Robert... King Robert Bruce. Uh, David Bruce. In which year did the Battle of Agincourt, a decisive victory for English archers, take place? 1415. Correct. Which harbour gave its name to the major battle of 1340 in which Edward III's longbowmen helped to ensure the overwhelming defeat of the French fleet? Portsmouth. Slice. You had four passes there, Matty. It was the River Somme that the English forces crossed. The Flights was the part of the arrow that I was after. Roger Ascham was the name of the great archery writer. And that specific one-word name given to those notches is Knock, or Knox. Four passes, Matty, you have five points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Andrew. And you come from? Glasgow. And your chosen subject? Star Wars Trilogy. Star Wars Trilogy, two minutes starting now. In the prologue to A New Hope, what name is given to the ultimate weapon of the Empire? The Death Star. Correct. At the beginning of Return of the Jedi, who is holding Han Solo captive? 
Jabba the Hutt. Yes, in The Empire Strikes Back, who saves C-3PO from being incinerated in a junk pile and later carries him around on his back? Chewbacca. Yes, in Return of the Jedi, how much reward does Jabba the Hutt eventually agree to pay the bounty hunter for Chewbacca? 35,000. Yes, how does the search ship from Echo Base, which finds Solo and Skywalker on Hoth, identify itself? Rogue Two. Yes, in A New Hope, what type of torpedoes must the rebel forces use to destroy the Death Star? Proton torpedoes. Correct. On Dagobah, when Luke explores the swampy wood, he meets himself dressed as which character? Darth Vader. Yes, in Return of the Jedi, where does the Emperor tell Vader he must wait for his son because he has foreseen it? The, for the Sanctuary Moon. Yes, what is the last thing that Darth Vader is heard to say to Obi-Wan Kenobi when they fight in A New Hope? Pass. In Return of the Jedi, who, dressed as a bounty hunter, releases Han Solo from the carbon freeze? Princess Leia. Yes. At the beginning of The Empire Strikes Back, in which system had the rebels established a base on a remote ice planet? Hoth. Yes. In A New Hope, Princess Leia gives the name of which planet to General Tarkin when asked where the rebel base is? Dantooine. Yes. How long does Yoda say he's been training Jedi Knights when Luke visits him at Dagobah? 900. 800 years. In The Empire Strikes Back, what does Yoda raise out of the swamps of Dagobah? Looks like X-Wing. Yes. At the beginning of A New Hope, inside what does Princess Leia hide the plans to the Death Star? R2-D2. Yes. In The Empire Strikes Back, which type of man-carrying metal monster is brought down when a cable is wrapped round its legs? Pass. To which rank is Han Solo promoted during Return of the Jedi? General. Yes, in A New Hope, which planet is destroyed before Luke and Obi-Wan Kenobi can deliver R2-D2 and the plans of the Death Star? Alderaan. Alderaan is correct. You had two passes there, Andrew. The man carrying metal monster was the Atat. And the last thing Darth Vader was heard to say, you should not have come back. Two passes, Andrew, you have 15 points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Hannah. And you come from? South Yorkshire. And your chosen subject? The His Dark Materials trilogy by Philip Pullman. His Dark Materials in two minutes, starting now. What is the name of Lyra's demon who first appears in Northern Lights? Pantaliman. Yes. Which strange creatures guard the gates of the land of the dead visited by Lyra in the Amber Spyglass? Harpies. Yes. In which building in Chittagatse does Will fight with Tullio for possession of the subtle knife? The Tower of the Angels. Yes. What name after the Muscovite who first discovered them is given to the elemental particles that are also known as dust? Ruskov particles. Yes. In Northern Lights, Lyra discovers that Lord Asriel is her father. Who's her mother? Mrs Coulter. Correct. What is the occupation of the elderly woman whom Will asks to look after his mother? Piano teacher. Correct. In The Amber Spyglass, what is the name of the great healer from whom Amma obtains a cure for Lyra's drugged sleep? Tags them. Is, uh, pass. Which Oxford college has been Lyra's home for most of her childhood? Jordan. Yes. Lord Asriel's demon, Stel Maria, takes the form of which animal? Snow Leopard. Yes. What was stolen from Jorak Bernsson by the men in Trollisund when they gave him so much to drink he fell asleep? His armour. Yes. What is the English translation of the name Bolvanga, the place where the oblation board takes the children? Fields of Evil. Yes. When Lyra asks the alethiometer if Will is a friend or an enemy in the subtle knife, what does it answer? He is a murderer. Yes. What word in Lyra's world is the equivalent to the English word electric? Ambaric. Correct. In the Amber Spyglass, what is the name of the race of small spies who ride on specially bred dragonflies? Gvaspillion. Gvaspillion. Galavaspians, yes. What name meaning armoured bear is given to the bears that live in Svalbard? Passaborn. Yes. In the subtle knife, Dr Mary Malone has the Chinese symbols of what pinned on the back of her office door? I Ching. Yes. The children at Bolvanger in Northern Lights wear padded cold weather clothing manufactured from which man-made material? Pass. In the subtle knife, Mrs Coulter forces Lena to reveal Lyra's true name. What is it? Can you repeat the question, please? In the... I've started, so I shall finish this. In the subtle knife, Mrs Coulter forces Lena to reveal Lyra's true name. What is it? Eve. Yes. Or the second Eve, or Eve again. You had two passes there, Hannah. It was coal silk that they uh, made those clothes from. And Pagjin Tulku is the name of the great healer. 
Two passes, but Hannah, you have 16 points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. And your name is? William. And you come from? London. And your chosen subject? Black holes. Black holes. Two minutes, starting now. Which American physicist was the first person to use the term black hole in the late 1960s? John Wheeler. Correct. Which high energy rays would be produced by a black hole explosion? X-rays. Yes. Which famous English physicist gave a lecture at the University of California in 1988 entitled Black Holes and Baby Universes? Stephen Hawking. It was. Static black holes generally take which three-dimensional shape? Pass. What nationality was Robert Oppenheimer, who in the 1930s helped to show that a star was capable of collapse? German. American. Which disk of fiercely hot glowing material eventually spirals into a black hole? Supernova. Accretion disk. Whereabouts in a black hole is a singularity found? The middle. Yes. Which constellation with a name meaning swan provided the first candidate for a black hole? Cygnus. Yes. Name the telescope that photographed the M87 galaxy in 1994, producing images that suggested there was a huge black hole at its centre. Pass. Which French mathematician and astronomer was born in 1749 and was one of the first to suggest that black holes could exist? Pierre Laplace. Correct. A star generates heat at its centre by converting hydrogen into which gas? Helium. Yes. Which region surrounds a spinning black hole and lies between the static limit and the outer event horizon? Uh, ergosphere. Correct. What name is given to the double star systems that are important in locating black holes? Binary systems. Correct. Which two words mean the lowest speed that a body must reach if it's to avoid the gravitational pull of a black hole? Pass. How many event horizons are there in a Reissner Nordstrom black hole? Pass. What is the fastest known thing in the universe, though even this cannot escape the strong gravitational pull of a black hole? Light. Yes, a German-born American physicist who died in 55 came up with a theory to help explain how space, light and matter behave near a black hole. Who was he? Einstein. Yes, which term describes very small black holes thought to have been formed in the extremely hot conditions of the early universe? Primordial black holes. Yes. Quasi-stellar... I've started, so I should finish. Quasi-stellar objects are thought to contain enormous black holes. By what shorter name are they usually known? Quasars. Correct. You had four passes there, William. Uh, two, that is how many event horizons there are in that particular black hole, Reisner Nordstrom. The two words that uh, mean the lowest speed and all that, escape velocity. It was the Hubble telescope that I was looking for and the static black hole which takes uh, three-dimensional shape, a sphere. So, those passes. William, you have 13 points. So that brings us to the end of our first round. Let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place, with five points, is Matty. In third place, with 13 points, William. In second place, with 15 points, Andrew. In first place, at the moment, with 16 points, Hannah. So, on to our general knowledge round now. And if there is a tie at the end of this round, then the number of passes will be taken into account and the contender with the fewest number of passes will be declared the winner. So, let me first ask Matty to join us again, please. And uh, you're fascinated by the English longbow, Matty. Why is that? It's just the pinnacle of archery, really. It's just a brilliant set of carefully strung together pieces of equipment. And you think it's the most important weapon, what, in history? Yeah. Why is that? Because a lot of people would say, because you it... know, the gun is the explosive weapons are the most important. Well, it kind of led the way for the gun, if you think about it. Like the sniper rifle, which is one of the most advanced weapons in the world, can shoot quite fast, but it's got extreme long range. Longbow was kind of the sniper rifle of the medieval age. Hmm. Now, let's see how you do with general knowledge. You had five points on the English longbow. You've got two minutes. General knowledge, starting now. What does the desalination process remove from seawater? Salt. Yes. Michael Vaughan, Darren Goff and James Anderson are leading members of the England team in which sport? Rugby. Cricket. What is the name of the singer that had a top ten hit with If There's Any Justice in This World and won the Brit Award for Best British Act in 2000? Britney Spears. Lamar. Which striped horse...
a species known as Burchells and Grevies. Zebra. Yes. Diabetes is caused by a lack of which hormone that is produced in the pancreas? Pass. Which famous Moscow Square is dominated by St Basil's Cathedral and the Gum Shopping Centre? Red Square. Yes. What name is given to decorations found in ancient Roman buildings which are made of small pieces of stone stuck together to form a picture or pattern? Uh, pass. What is the name of the Prime Minister of Australia who was re-elected in 2004? Pass. <laughs> Which traditional dish of Greece has lamb, aubergine, tomato and cheese as its principal ingredients? Tomato sauce. Moussaka. According to tradition, Homer compiled the Odyssey and which other epic poem which tells of the wanderings of Odysseus? Pass. In London, outside which of the Queen's residences does the ceremonial changing of the guard usually take place at half-past eleven on alternate mornings? Brooklyn Palace. Correct. In the television cartoon, the character SpongeBob SquarePants lives in an underseas home made from which fruit? Pear. Pineapple. Which acid is vital for the formation of the unborn child and is given in supplements to pregnant women? Pass. What name is given to flattened circles found in the middle of fields near harvest time that are sometimes attributed to UFOs? Uh, crop signs. Crop circles, yes. Which English artist is famous for painting landscapes during the 19th century, such as the Hay Wayne, View on the Star and Stratford Mill? <laughs> Think of an artist. Uh, uh, pass. I'll give it to you. It is John Constable. Your other passes, folic acid is given to pregnant women. The Iliad was uh, the other great epic poem written by Homer. John Howard was the man who got to be Prime Minister of Australia again. And the name given to those decorations found in ancient Roman buildings, mosaics and diabetes is caused by a lack of insulin. So there we are, six passes. Matty, you have ten points. <laughs> and now William, if he'd join us again, please. What is it about black holes in particular that, that, that excites you? Well, certain black holes could be turned into wormholes, which could transport you through time and space. What do you reckon would happen to you if you jumped into a black hole? You get stretched long and thin, because the gravity on the inside of the black hole is stronger than on the outside. It's pulling you apart from your feet, so you get stretched really long and thin. And then when you get to the centre, which is the singularity, get crushed to a point. Right. So you probably wouldn't live to tell the tale, would you, really? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. It's not something you'd volunteer for, is mm, it? Definitely not. Well done. You've got uh, 13 points with your knowledge of black holes. Let's see how you do with general knowledge. Two minutes, starting now. In computers, if portrait means a page printed vertically, which word means horizontal printing? Landscape. Yes. Gingivitis is an inflammation of which part of the mouth? Um, tongue. Gums. Which major running event did Paula Radcliffe win on the streets of London in both 2002 and 2003? London Marathon. Yes. Which mineral used in pencils is often mistakenly called lead? Graphite. Yes. With which northern British city is the fisherman's stew known as lobscouse particularly associated? Pass. In 2004, which group of four young men were launched by singing Regressa a Me or Unbreak My Heart on The Parkinson Show? Um, pass. What sort of vehicles now run on rails along streets in Manchester, Sheffield and Nottingham? Trams. Correct. In memory of which children's author was a statue of the Little Mermaid set up in Copenhagen in 1913? Pass. Which family of German composers included Johann Sebastian and Carl Philipp Emanuel? Beethoven. Bach. What is the name of the portrait painting by Leonardo da Vinci of a woman with an enigmatic smile that hangs in the Louvre in Paris? Mona Lisa. Yes. The boom slang and black mamba are snakes indigenous to which continent? South America. Africa. Which Robert Westall story tells of young Chas McGill and his gang taking a weapon from a crashed German plane? Pass. What do we normally call the powdered leaves of the plant Lawsonia in a miss, used as a dye to colour hair and decorate the body? Pass. To which Midland city is someone said to be sent when others refuse to speak to him as a punishment? Pass. 
In 2004, Eamon Holmes presented a tough knockout spelling competition for children on television. What was it called? Hot Spell. Yes. Which breed of dog shares its name with the British space mission that reached Mars on Christmas Day 2003 but failed to send signals home? Beagle. Yes. In 2002, Aardman Animations released Cracking Contraptions. I've started so I shall finish. Featuring which inventor and his dog? Wallace and Gromit. Wallace and Gromit, it was. You had six passes there, William. We send people to Coventry. Henna is the name of that uh, particular die. The Machine Gunners was the name of Robert Westall's story. Hans Christian Andersen has a statue to him in uh, Copenhagen. Il Divo was the name of that group of four young men. And Lobscouse is particularly associated with Liverpool. So those were your passes. You have a total number of points, William, of 21. And now, if Andrew would join us again, please. So, Star Wars. You seem to know just about everything about him. Why? It's a classic story between good and evil. Do you have a particular favourite among... Because there's a huge amount of it, isn't there? Return of the Jedi, because that has um, a, a lot of action in it. You had a particular reason for wanting to come on junior mastermind. What was that? I have um, Asperger's syndrome and um, I wanted to show that um, people like me can live a pretty normal life and also that we're not what people think and it's, that it's not a life sentence. What do you think people do think about people with Asperger's then? Um, they think that they're stupid or should be locked away in some sort of in institution. You don't think that we're beginning to understand a bit more about it now? Yeah, and... we're understanding but we're not going fast enough. Well, you scored very well. You got 15 points with your knowledge of Star Wars. Let's try general knowledge. Two minutes, starting now. The Summer Olympic Games took place in which country in 2004? Pass. In the phonetic alphabet in which R stands for Romeo, what does J stand for? Juliet. Yes. If an animal is herbivorous, what kind of things does it eat? Plants. Yes. What is the name of the handrail that runs alongside a staircase? By... Bannister. Yes. Aqueous humour and vitreous humour are to be found in which organ of the body? Pass. Yay and Burn were number one hit singles for which R&B artist in 2003 and 2004? Pass. What is the name of the sports stadium in Cardiff which was built for the Rugby World Cup in 1999 and it's where the FA Cup final is played while Wembley is being rebuilt? Pass. What do the letters EU stand for in international politics? European Union. Yes. What nationality was the composer Giuseppe Verdi who wrote the opera Aida? Pass. What name is given to the process by which green plants use sunlight to make food from carbon dioxide and water? Pass. Which French emperor and general was defeated at the Battle of Waterloo? Napoleon. Yes, Napoleon Bonaparte. Which of the angels appeared to Mary to tell her that she was to be the mother of Jesus? Gabriel. Yes. In Greek mythology, who flew too near to the sun, so the wax on his wings melted and he fell and drowned? Icarus. Yes. What name is commonly given to the explosive bang produced in the wake of an aircraft flying at Mach 1? Sonic boom. Yes. What word can mean both the card game patience and a board game played by jumping one peg over another? Draws. Solitaire. Antonio Banderas, the star of The Mask of Zorro, voices which character in Shrek 2? Pass. Which mammal, a member of the weasel family, has a den known as a holt? Pass. In the Bible, which infant was adopted... I've started, I'll finish. Which infant was adopted by the pharaoh's daughter after she found him hidden in a basket at the edge of the Nile? Moses. Moses is correct. You had eight passes there, Andrew. Uh, the mammal who lives in a holt is the otter. Puss in Boots was the uh, character that Antonio Banderas voiced. Photosynthesis is what happens when uh, green plants use sunlight and all that. Italian is the nationality of Giuseppe Verdi. The Millennium Stadium is that place in Cardiff where they play rugby and sometimes football. Yay and Burn were number one hit singles for Usher. The aqueous humour and vitreous humour are in the eye and the Olympic Games in 2004 took place in Greece. So, eight passes. Andrew, you have 24 points. <laughs> and now Hannah, please.
So, Hannah, what is it about his dark materials? That's the way it interprets different things that could be interpreted in different ways. After you've read the first few pages, it pulls you in and you really want to read more. You can't stop yourself. You're very proud of your school, I'm told. Yes. Because? Because it's got such a good education. The way they make things interesting, you don't just write things down for board. They do it in different ways. Say in history, they would make you do a storyboard of World War II or something. They get it into your head when the children don't know it's happening. This is a state school, of course. Yes. Do you have a favourite teacher or...? No. As a rule, I don't have favourites. Why is that? Because they're all the same. They all have their own ways of teaching and they're all good. Right, well, you uh, were in the lead at the end of that first round. You had 16 points. 24 is the score that you have to beat now with the general knowledge. Two minutes, starting now. What is the unit of power which on a light bulb could be 100 or 60 or 40? Watts. Yes, in what month does Remembrance Day fall each year? November. Yes, in 2003, the songs Where Is The Love and Shut Up were top ten hits for which group? Pass. In computers, what name is given to a programme that attaches itself to another programme and then infects data and corrupts and destroys it? Virus. Yes, what name is given to the fat of seals and whales? Blubber. Yes, in which sport does Europe play America for the Ryder Cup and players competed in 2004 for the Masters in Augusta and the Open in Troon? Golf. Yes, which Roman emperor was assassinated in Rome on the Ides of March? Julius Caesar. Yes. In which 2004 animated film is Samuel L. Jackson, the voice of Lucius Best, once known as Frozone, the planet's coolest superhero? Pass. The tendon connecting calf muscles to the heel takes its name from which hero of Greek mythology? Pass. The macaw is the most colourful of which family of birds? Parrot. Yes. In which capital city are the headquarters of the European Union and the base for many of the EU institutions, including the European Commission? New York. Brussels. Born in 1599, who fought against Charles I and later ruled as Lord Protector? Pass. Which name for someone who believes that God does not exist comes from the Greek term meaning without God? Pass. Among North American Indians, a papoose was a term used for what? Food. Food. No, baby. Which Brazilian city, likened in shape to a bird or aeroplane, replaced Rio de Janeiro as the federal capital in 1960? Can you repeat the question, Which please? Brazilian city, likened in shape to a bird or aeroplane, replaced Rio de Janeiro as the federal capital in 1960? Chile. No, the answer to that is Brasilia. You had five passes there, Hannah. Atheist is the name for someone who believes that God doesn't exist. Oliver Cromwell was the Lord Protector. The Achilles tendon is the one that connects your calf muscles to the heel. The Incredibles is the name of the animated film. And that group who made a hit with Where's Love and Shut Up were Black Eyed Peas. Hannah, you scored 23 points. So, at the end of the contest, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place with 10 points is Matty. In third place with 21 points, William. In second place with 23 points, Hannah. In first place, pipped her at the post with 24 points, is Andrew. <laughs> Which means, of course, that Andrew goes through to the finals. Congratulations to him. Hope you've enjoyed watching Junior Mastermind. Please join us next time. Goodbye. Do join us at the same time tomorrow. The four subjects chosen by our young contenders then will be the Plantagenets, Michael Schumacher, Faulty Towers and the films of Hayao Miyazaki. If you'd like more information on Asperger's Syndrome, you can call the BBC Action Line on 0800 888 809. The Action Line is open seven days a week from half past seven in the morning until midnight. All calls are confidential and free. Worried about your exams, but bored doing the same old revision? If you're a digital viewer, you can make it more interesting by pressing red and visiting Bite Size for tips and testing.
When parents struggle to understand their kids, they need an interpreter. Anxious children who behave like that need an awful lot of love and reassurance. So when they're shown what to do, things get a lot easier. He looks really happy and confident. Helping parents through the tantrums, the House of Tiny Tearaways, next on BBC Three. Right, team, the FA Cup final, the biggest day in the football calendar. So, we mustn't let a little thing like a double booking get in the way. Hugh, Hugh, how are we doing on camera?